College football will soon return to Colorado State University, but it's already been a rough year for the Rams. Dylan Thomas is live from the CSU campus tonight. Dylan, the pandemic is not the only issue the football program has been juggling. Yeah, Kelly, a COVID-19 outbreak back in August put football operations on pause. But just days later, accusations of racism from the coaching staff up to the athletic department shut the program down. And now an independent investigation is being done by an outside law firm. But before they even got the results from that investigation, the university says they're taken back to the turf. And game one is just weeks away. Whenever any organization is under investigation, it's surprising when they just go back to business as usual. For many CSU students, the student body should deserve to know what's happening there before they go back as if nothing ever happened. They were shocked to hear CSU will return to football and other athletics amid an investigation into alleged racism within the football team and the athletic department. This is the, the school and the team you want to root for. Uh, but when you start hearing about all these things going on, it made me start to really think, is this real? You know, is this true? Even in the middle of a pandemic and investigation, just days ago, the university announced they will return to competition by the end of the month. You know, they're more concerned about getting the sports back uh, and so that they can make their money rather than solving the real problems. That's how I see it. Colleges are a business, and a big part of that business is sports. But in a written statement, the university says that's not the case at all. CSU says student athletes were given the choice to opt out of athletics this fall without threat to their financial aid or scholarships. Only 3% chose to do so, meaning 97% were okay with competition amid the investigation and pandemic. And knowing a lot of the athletes, they just want to compete. While the athletes want to return, students CBS4 spoke with say, We can wait to see sports. I think they should hold out. Now, a spokesperson for CSU tells me they thought that investigation would be completed by the end of September, and they still think the results come in any day now. So the athletic director thought they were safe to move forward with workouts and scheduling that first football game. The university says the investigation is still their top priority, and they will respect and prioritize the results of that investigation whenever the results are returned to them. Reporting live tonight in Fort Collins, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.